Thing. Passion is a powerful stimulus. It oftentimes transforms ordinary lives into extraordinary lives. And we're going to meet one such man today, Michael McNeil, whose passion after seeing the LA riots and wanted to help his community started a wonderful ranch called Inner City Slickers. Inner City Slickers brings children from the inner cities and gives them the opportunity to work with cowboys and horses and learn wonderful, wonderful techniques that help to transform their lives. And here comes our first batch of Inner City Slickers for the day. All right, come on, everybody, over to the cement corral. How are you doing? What's your name? Hello, Jay. I'm Michael. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Hey, Michael, how'd you end up doing all this? How did this get started? Well, you know, in 1992, when the riots broke out, I was watching L.A. burn from my office in Sunset. And uh, I was watching the news coverage, and I was very upset about the way they handled it and how undimensional it was. It was just like cardboard people doing burning their city. Then I just came up with uh, the Awareness Foundation and started developing programs. And then we start teach them how to saddle, get on a horse, let them get a fill of the horse, let them get over their fears, how to lead a horse. What's really great is the kids, they get to work together and saddling up the, to uh, leading the horse around. It, there's a lot of teamwork involved. Wrangler, he was really nice to me and he let me do most of the job and because my other partner he was really nice too and he was helping me out and it was really fun. One horn, that's good for some. You know, it starts with the fear factor and then it gets almost it's almost like the core. They break them down, they put them all even, they start them back up again. And as the days go by, you see these kids develop their own personalities. Some are better ropers, some are better riders. But uh, it's all the horses that do it. You know, I think that, that God put horses on the earth to make us better people. And any day you spend on a horse is a good day. And when you get these kids out here, it's just amazing, the 180s you see. I like riding horses, and I like the bull. Well, Erlinda is Michael's wife, and uh, you've seen probably a lot of transformations with the children as you've worked yes, out here yes. with them. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about that? There's this one particular kid, Anthony, coming from a tough neighborhood, you know, he's never been around animals, and he was very shy and didn't want anything to do with them. But once we got him to just mingle and uh, touch, and his, uh, it was amazing, it's, his face lit up, he was more uh, active and uh, just a whole, his whole, he just transformed. It was just amazing and, and he'll stay with me for the rest of my life. All right, this is gonna be our first stall with Clean. Everybody come around. I think one of the most important things is each child will be able to take a circumstance where they overcame fear. And fear of horses, fear of the mechanics, fear of, 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 of horse manure. And even taking that ex example, they can take that and use that in the rest of their life. When, whenever there's a situation they might be fearful, they can always think back to this one time. And fear is such a dense energy that they're able to overcome that. It was really wonderful to see. Now, you, when you were talking to the children, had one of the greatest definitions of passionate living of life <laughs> that I've heard so far. Could you share that with us? Yeah, I, I told them that I thought my defini definition of life is, is that find something that you're passionate about. I mean, that really excites you, that turns you on, that, that makes that glow happen between, you know, between your ears and your eyes. And then you perfect it. You get really good at it. Then you give it to somebody else. And then they'll get excited. I mean, that's what our Wranglers are doing here. They're, they love horses, and so they're giving them to the children. All right, we got one special rider. Let's bring up Catherine. Yeah. Come on, Catherine. All right. Well, the guys convinced me that this was a great way to end the day. Uh, all the kids had a great time, and I know where they all live. So if I don't make it through this ride, Michael. And if you want more information on this, come to passionateliving.com. So I'm watching you over here. What are you saying? From this week's passionate living, uh, what is it? Give, Give me, me some. Some. Ah, here we go. Ah, here we go. Ah, here we go. Ah.